Happy Sunday everybody, Gingerbeard Mark here with Rob Glover from Epic 45 and Field Harmonics in the town of Hadfield in Derbyshire to check out the filming locations of the BBC sketch comedy show The League of Gentlemen. So let's check it out! I'll leave the house, get in my car, drive somewhere interesting and preferably not too far. Why do I do this? You may ponder. Provide you with a regular Sunday wonder. A Sunday wonder of nothing I'm more fond of. A Sunday wonder of nothing I'm more fond of. Sit back, relax, lay out the snacks and let me do the walking. I'm here and there, I'm everywhere, I even do some talking. Come along with me. The League of Gentlemen was a BBC sketch comedy series that ran from 1999 through to 2002 with a film in 2005 and then a revival series in 2017. It's set in the fictional town of Royston Vasey, which weirdly enough is uh, Roy Chubby Brown's real name and he popped up as the mayor in the series a couple of times. So let's have a wander around Hadfield and see what we can find. Each episode would start here at the War Memorial and then would pan round to the moors where they would digitally add the local shop. Now, I haven't got the money to digitally add anything, but I'll give you a rough idea of what it looked like. So yeah, if you picture the moors and then they would digitally add the shop, something like this. <laughs> the lamp pub behind me was used as Luigi's restaurant where Charlie, Stella and Tony had quite an awkward meal in the third series. I thought he said his name was Luigi. The alleyway behind me that me and Rob have just walked down is the alleyway where we're introduced to the characters of Mike, Jeff and Brian and Jeff's trying to tell a joke but Jeff doesn't fully understand the joke. Mike said it. He was really laughing. And then they walk across the road here trying to race a couple of other people into the pub which is now a Tesco Express. Funny how times change things. Where Rob is sitting is where Rishi Smith's character of Benjamin first arrives to Royston Vasey and he's sat waiting to be picked up by the local cab company, Babs Cabs. Quite possibly my favourite character from the world of Royston Vasey has to be Les McQueen. A rhythm guitarist in 70s glam rock outfit, Creme Brulee, mainstream success eluded Les, despite being on the verge of signing to Pickwick back in 76. After the release of their single, Voodoo Lady, and subsequent album, Just Desserts, Les's career waned and he picked up a living at the local hospital, boil washing khaki nappies and covering the graveyard DJ slot. Long gone had the days where he'd walk into a urinal and heads would turn. Then, Les happened upon a reunion of Creme Brulee, during a lunchtime gig at his local pub, approaching frontman Tony Cluedo after the show, who mistakenly called him Les McDougal. He agreed to offer up his redundancy money to finance a comeback tour for the group. Having handed over 50 big ones, Les searched for the location of the press conference to announce the news, finding that the address he'd been given was home to little more than a fiesta with its engine fucked. Once again, his dreams of glam rock glory evaporated. After all, it's a shit business. Just behind me is the home of the Toad Loving Dentons, the uh, family that Benjamin comes to stay with in the first series, who turn out to be a little unusual, let's say. <laughs> behind me is JW Metricanson's, this uh, butcher shop that's used for Hilary Briss's butcher shop in the series and in the film. If you ever go in, don't forget to ask about the special stuff. So roughly here is where the photo booth from the new episodes was 
that was the entrance, spoiler alert, to Papa Lazarou's wife mine. This building here is the uh, old Hadfield Liberal Club which was used as the job centre in the first two series of The League of Gentlemen. We can match this doorway here with one in the series. The bricks themselves look darker in the series so I don't know if that was lighting or whether they've been washed since then but now they've been converted into quite fancy pants flats. Thanks for joining me and Rob here in Hadfield. Rob, you got anything you want to plug? Uh, I'd urge you to check out waysideandwoodland.com, which is a record label I co run with some friends. Uh, Mark uses a lot of the music that we produce for his channel, so uh, check it out. Yes, check out waysideandwoodland.com. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye bye! Quite possibly my favourite character from League of Gentlemen. <laughs> the League of Gentlemen is a sketch. So imagine it as something like this with the moors. Then with the local shop, uh, the, it blocks it. And of course, just behind me, is a shop that's used as Hillary Britney. Hillary Biff. Buddy, Gingerbeard Mark here in the town of Had. Oh yeah, I need to introduce you. You have to bow yourself, Mark.